Well, good luck, Dorori. And launch. We want you to know that this was built by the lowest bidder. <laughs> Angle pitch markers. Um, about six to seven kilometers at 60 degrees. Technically, I like to be at 15 kilometers at 45 degrees, but we're a little bit early. 20 kilometers, 40 degrees. 30 kilometers, 30 degrees, you know, something like that. Okay. But they still haven't given us a contract for Duna. It's pure science here. Okay, so now we've got the limited control because we don't have comms. Okay, things seem to be functioning still. Even though Dorori is a mere engineer. Okay, we are in orbit. No point checking the contracts because they usually say launch a new vessel, so... Well, maybe. Nope, explore Minmus. I have an ICF Teague. We're launching an ill-advised mission to Duna. 50-50 chance of needing to rescue this Kerbal. But I suppose if you're a sufficiently high-leveled... Uh, I guess I should actually plot it. I was, I was acting like I didn't actually have the ability to plot maneuvers, which... Oh, right, but I can't plot maneuvers until we have communication. That's... that's one thing. Hmm. That's one thing we need communications for. Coming back is gonna be hard if I can't plot the maneuver. I think that's the moon. I think that's why the orbit is red there. Uh, maybe... Yeah, maybe we should just do an inclination adjustment when we get over there. So close, anyway. Oh well, there we go. Well, I don't know enough constellations to recognize them to get lost. <laughs> I don't know about really good. I've I've seen better. Well, we'll just do an inclination adjustment once we get there, but then what happens if I can't plot- I, I might not be able to plot a maneuver. Yeah, yeah, but I still prefer like either Precise Note or the one that Mechjib has in it. Because of the plus and minus skis. Sure loses charge faster when it is. Oh, I guess it's just because we're turning. Worried it a, a Kerbal increased the charge depletion, but doesn't seem to. Will Dorori become our first stranded Kerbal? Will he die a fateful death crashing into Duna? Sounds like I should stop it right now and have a cliffhanger, but no, no, we'll, we'll finish the mission. Holy grow potatoes on Mars. Will those potatoes then mutate and eat him? Didn't think of that, did you? Lots of radiation on the surface of Mars, you never know. If there's anything we learned in sci-fi, it's that uh, radiation mutates creatures into things that eat people. Right? Right. Are we in daylight yet? Rabid tardigrades? They dropped those on, on the moon, just watch. Just watch what's going to happen. Why doesn't radiation turn things into cute bunnies? Because entropy. Bunnies are very well-ordered things. 
evil, demented uh, things that eat people are less orderly, more entropy. And the universe tends towards entropy. It's like mutants. I mean, not mutants. Um, oh, the, the, the things that those games are all about. Um, hello, it all right? Uh, zombies, zombies, right, zombies. Why, why, why does everybody turn into zombies in the end? Entropy. <laughs> Humans are very well-ordered beings. Uh, zombies, not so much. So eventually humans will all turn into zombies. See? Putting more energy? Yeah, but radiation is really tiny bits though. It's, I mean, I guess if you put enough radiation into it, but you need a lot of radiation. If you put enough radiation into something, you get superpowers. That's counteracting entropy. But you need a lot of radiation. None of these tiny little spider spider bites. That's that's all lies. Spider bites won't work. Super bunnies. Quantum superpowers? No, then you wouldn't know whether he had them or not. We all have quantum superpowers, we just aren't sure about them. They may be there, they may not be there, depending on who's watching. Realism overall, the time steps are different. It goes from 1 to 10 to 100 to 1,000, not 1 to 5 to 10 to 50 to 100. So, yeah. So we can't plot any maneuvers. Nope. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, looks like we should go north. Will we get the Ike package as well? That's a question. Okay, that's as close as I want it for now. Okay. So, while well, we haven't done the science in space here. Crew report. Keep. Log temperature. Keep. EVA. Okay, uh, let's orient for the sun, it's okay, this, this is probably a good orientation actually. Continuing. So now we'll dip into the atmosphere, the air break. I'm gonna, I'm, it's either 24 kilometers or 12 kilometers, I'm gonna go with 20 and hope that that uh, this is the wrong side uh, that that would be very scary if we went negative three kilometers that would be too too much i mean we don't really need to aerobrate though we can go pretty low we mean to land we mean to land dusto breaking as long as it's not litho breaking it's okay you know technically i could probably just capture into orbit hmm Maybe we should manually get into orbit, meet up with Ike, and then go into Duna's atmosphere. Hmm. I mean, otherwise this Delta V is going to be lost anyway. We should do some science first, though. About a thousand meters per second, maybe a little bit more than that. Basically what it took to get here. Yeah, alright. Maybe we'll, we'll try the Ike package. 
We can't plot maneuvers, remember. Because we don't have comms. You'd think an engineer would be able to figure it out. Math and all. But no. Hmm, this might be too much. I didn't realize we were going to be going this fast at this point. Okay, that's capture. Oh, come on, Ike. This is the one time you're not going to troll us? No, oh, our inclination's icky. Well, we'll have to fix that. I want to save the, a little bit of fuel for bringing our orbit down into Duna's atmosphere, though. That doesn't help anything. Alright, we'll just wait. Does that look like the same exact gap as we had last time? Hmm. Okay, what's the... Orbital period of Ike here. Uh, no, no, not that. Anything but that. Um, three days. We've got a one day, three hour, and 14 minute orbit. I mean, that's a, only a little bit off from half of it. So maybe it's too darn close. I'll just force. Ah, uh, okay. It's, it's something. Oh, that's iffy as all heck, and we don't really want it to go that way. This is low Duna orbit, isn't it? Lowlands. I don't, uh, are we gonna have an Ike inter encounter or not? I think it lied to me. Maybe it's the next round. Oh, no, it's coming on this way around. Oh, that looks like we would crash into... Duna. Um... Is... That's worse, okay. Secret space station. We wish that'd save a lot of time. No, we won't do low right this time. That's very obvious at this point. Okay, that'll do. Prevent, uh, we could have done that, but that would have taken more Delta V than just boosting up like I just did. Because we'd have to capture and then break orbit again. And as it is, I just barely got done with this stage, so it's okay. It's good. We'll just have to hold off on the low over Ike science. Well, the, the top bit will air break on its own. I don't think there's any problem with that. We're gonna dump this stage. And we have to retract the solar panels and everything. Don't know where we're gonna land, if we're gonna land safely, any of that business. I am gonna dump the stage now. No, we're landing on the tanks. We have a 30 part limit, I didn't have enough parts available for um, landing on, what, well, landing legs. So, the question is, what settings do we need for our parachutes? Because, you know, the atmosphere of Duna is not the same as Kerbin. 0.066 I guess we should set it to like 0.02 maybe. Ever? Probably? We'll set that to 0.04 just in case. High as? Yeah, basically we'll try it as high as we can. 
probably we can just use propulsive landing to be honest and it was completely unnecessary for me to pack parachutes but we'll see parachutes should save some delta v well let's see what duna looks like Is it substantially improved like the moon? It's been a while since I've looked at it. It looks better. You have to watch out to not uh, run out of electric charge. Uh, probably doesn't matter too much. I mean, I don't think we're gonna face too much heating. Uh, no. Let's not turn off SAS, actually. How about... If you kill my Kerbal because of suggestions like that, I'm just saying... <laughs> I hope there's a giant volcano. And a canyon. I'm not sure though. There's a canyon-ish thing here. That's a canyon-ish thing. Not sure about volcanoes. Yeah, it takes some adjustment to do stock. That's for sure. Let's go to radar. Well, we might be in the canyon. Or we might skip right over it. Ah, no! No, don't do that. Don't do that. Bad Kerbal. Bad Kerbal. Get back. Get back. I, I have stayed in the Atmo, yeah. Now that you mentioned, I may have made a drastic mistake in using that engine. That was for the moon. Duna has more gravity. Well, it uh, says we have a thrust weight ratio of more than one, so... Good. <laughs> No, I don't think we can use the ant for this. This barely had a thrust weight ratio of one, so... It was a close call right there. We could have been in great danger. I believe you can open the chutes if the battery dies. SAS isn't gonna hold, but yeah. Uh, well, we're gonna find out. <laughs> How oh, this is all gonna work. Uh, can we... I can't turn it around. Those parachutes aren't saying that they're gonna work. We've run out. Um... No! Dorori! No! Didn't work. We have had our first Kerbal death. Very inadvisable Duna mission. It has happened. We have lost, a, but we got flat plant a flag on Duna mission finally. Oh, I'm gonna bring the Duna Stone back with you. Hmm. And a position of satellite, but that has to be uncrewed. Where did we go wrong? Clearly the electric charge. We needed more batteries. I think. Science there from space around Ike. Yeah. We could, like, position a... I, I don't know if it has to be unmanned right away. 
Now crater. Merge with regolith. Rogue shoot? No, I just had regular shoes. I should have had a drogue shoot. Uh, anyway, um, I wasn't entirely sure how drogue shooty I needed to go with the Duna thing, but clearly I needed more drogue shooty. Yes. Uh, Alright. 